Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how to remove this sky and apply some cool clouds. Because a couple of weeks ago I went out with a friend of mine and uh, it was a rather good day but the sky was really terrible. And uh, I, I, I said to him, listen mate, this is an easy option so here, here I am doing it so you can see how to do it. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go into my channels and I want to see the channel that gives me more contrast and uh, I think the blue one gives me more contrast so I'll duplicate my blue channel dragging the channel into new channel icon and now we've got duplicate I'm just going to image adjustments levels and I want just to bring down the midtones like so and I want to make sure the blacks are black and something like this and I'm going still going and I'm still going and I'll stick in here so I'm happy with this I'll click OK now so what I want to do now is I want to grab my black paintbrush I want to change the blending mode from normal to overlay and I want to play start painting in the black areas uh, I've got the flow at 100% and so I'll just go like so and it's just going to make it bigger and as you can see it looks much better well you'll see what I mean in a second now I'm just going to flip the colors so from black to white so I can click here or just press the letter X on my keyboard and I can just come here and start painting and I'm just going to slowly in here I'm just going once over this and now I'm going over again like so and it's looking rather good and because I'm painting with an overlay blending mode on my brush when I go into a proper black area nothing happens to the black areas as you can see just stands see right here just restrict it slightly but if I click again it's a, I'm telling Photoshop listen I want this as well so I'm just going over like so so I'm just painting in this sort of jobs do use a Wacom tablet because it works really really well I'm using the mouse because I'm not working on my main main machine and I don't have it installed in here so I'm just going over and over with a Wacom tablet you get more flexibility and more control over certain areas and you can control the pressure sensitivity as well while you're painting so it's a good thing okay brilliant so now we have this blue copy like so and we could load this as a selection but I don't want to do it just yet so I'm just going to show you I've got this lovely photo it's not lovely it's just straight out of the camera nothing was done to it but I've got lovely clouds and as you can see when shooting clouds what I'm focusing is uh, I want to have clouds on the foreground and all the way into the background so I have nice cool clouds so I'm just going to select my move tool I'm going to press V on my keyboard and drag into my other document which is here so what I want to do is let go hang on a second because I was on my channels nothing happens so now I can do it so I'll just go click hold shift so it will be straight in the middle and as you can see it looks very cool but bear me with for a second we can come here now into channels and we can load this blue copy holding control or command on the Mac and click the icon and as you can see loads that as a selection or you can come here to select load selection and right here you can choose the blue copy I'm going to cancel this so now I have my selection active I've got my clouds on the top I'll just add a new layer mask and there you go we have got some very cool clouds but we're not done yet so I want to unlink this right here between the thumbnail 
of the image and the thumbnail of the layer mask. So I'll click that and it's unlinked. So I can actually move, in this case I'll, I had my layer mask selected, make sure you've got your layer selected. I can move as I want and the mask stays in the same place. And I kind of like like this and I'm just going to free transform it, Control T or Command T on the Mac and I'm just going to stretch them a bit something like so and I think it looks cool except the changes but as you can see right here still not perfect looks quite cool but not perfect so what I want to do is I want to select my layer mask I'm going to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm just going to select this area right here and I want to apply a small blur so 2.6 should work, let's see, but bear in mind these numbers may vary according to your image and this is like trying as well, it's playing with it a lot now I'm going to image adjustments, I'm going to levels and now I just want to play with my levels and something like so and I think it looks better looks much better but I'm still going to give it a bit more blur so filter blur is it too much I'm going to apply the one I applied before image adjustments levels and it looks much much better very cool so now all I want to do is because when I took this photo it was intended for black and white I'm just going to merge these two layers I'm going into filter, camera filter because I'm using Photoshop CC there are other ways to convert uh, to black and white but I like to go back to camera filter because of the clarity option that I've got here so I'm just going to bring down the highlights a touch and open up the shadows a bit so I get more detail in here, add some contrast, add some clarity I'm going to add some vibrance now and now I'm going into convert to grayscale and it looks quite cool I'll just play with my sliders a bit more something like this back to my basic panel and as you can see in here it looks it doesn't look bad but I want more clarity so it gives me like a nice texture and as you can see it just brings some nice texture it's before and after you see nice details in here and as you can see from a terrible sky, now we have a decent sky with a decent image. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.